Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Android Auto not working. But before we start, hurry up and check out this offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you fix this issue in Android Auto. Which in this case, there are a few things that you can do here to probably fix, fix this issue here. So one of them is to make sure that your phone and your car is actually properly connected. Sometimes if the cord itself is not connected properly on your mobile device, this will actually interfere with the connection itself and Android Auto will not or might not work properly. So in this case, try unplugging and plugging the actual port itself on your phone and see if that solves the issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, the next thing you want to do is you want to actually access your settings. In this case, go and open up your phone, go to settings here, and you want to go to the search bar at the very top here, just type in auto or Android auto. So in this case, if I, if you don't see it again, uh, immediately just type in on Android auto here, open it up. And from here, what you need to do is you need to click on the connect a car option. In this case, it's going to ask you to uh, plug your phone into the vehicle's Android Auto compatible USB port, which in this case, uh, go ahead and connect it. So in this case, go ahead. If you see this section here or connect card, it means the cord itself might be broken. So you might uh, consider replacing it to with another one, especially if you can connect your phone to your PC. It means the cord itself is the problem here. So also you can try to connect using wireless Android Auto here if you want to. So in this case, you need to turn on Bluetooth for this one. But yeah, so in this case, make sure that your uh, Android device is properly connected. And also, if that doesn't work, you could actually check for updates. So in this case, you go and click on System App Updater here. And in this case, I would suggest you to basically update all that you see in here. Just click on Update and wait for the whole update to complete. Also, alternatively, if you have like system updates on your device, make sure to open it up and make sure to install the update itself. In this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.